Hello beautiful friends, it's Erica. Today's video is going to cover the topic of the full moon lunar eclipse happening on January 10th, uh, 2020 at 20 degrees of Cancer. This is actually the second of a series of eclipses that we've just been experiencing, the, the most recent one being on December 26th of 2019 where that was with the new moon that really kicked off a brand new very positive cycle in our lives so if you haven't seen the video i've done about that um about that particular eclipse on the new moon i definitely recommend watching it because even though it's after that particular date the effects of that particular um uh of that eclipse Normally, eclipse affects for about four weeks. Um, the effects of that eclipse can be felt, but this particular one is going to be felt for the next six months. So if you're interested in understanding what could be coming in and what is kickstarting for you from a very positive perspective, I highly recommend going to check that video out here. I will try to remember to put it in the description box below. But um, following that now is this full moon lunar eclipse which is more about completions and endings so we're on a new trajectory right now we are moving forward in a brand new cycle one that's opening us up to more abundance um, more love more alignment with our true path here and so with that when you're on a new trajectory inevitably that means some things need to come to a close some things need to get cleared out in order for you to focus your energy into where you're going as opposed to where you've been. So that is a lot of the theme of this particular um, eclipse happening January 10th. And it is on the 11th for some of you, depending on where you are in the world. But for most of us, it is January 10th. So we're going to take a look in this reading about the themes of this particular, the overall themes going on in the collective. And then we're going to break down how the eclipse energies on the full moon are going to be impacting both the divine masculine and the divine feminine energies in the collective and remember we are we are both energies regardless of our gender regardless of our primary focus in our energies um, we do represent and exhibit both masculine and feminine energy so there will be messages that resonate from both sides of the table here for you so i highly recommend watching this not only for um certainly some people are watching this for relationships but other people um i do recommend watching this from the standpoint of your soul growth so with that um also really quickly before i get started i um as you guys know, I have my Soul Growth Accelerator subscription, or maybe you don't know if you're new, and I'm running a holiday special that does expire on January 1st, and that is for 40% off the subscription. I've just recently added a couple of new features to the subscription, and I just wanted to highlight one of them. Part of the subscription is my Q&A, the ability to ask me um, a question. Uh, about your journey and not specific to you, but in general things that you may be curious about or not understanding about the awakening process about soul growth about divine masculine or divine feminine and in there I've been doing Q&A's every month and what I've just recently done is rather than put them up as a video that is usually they're about two hours long by the time I get through the questions um, I have now broken down the videos into individual questions, so it's more like a library that allows you to scroll through the questions and see if the question you have has already been answered, as opposed to having to sit there and listen to videos hoping that maybe it's been answered in there. So it's highly, I've made it much more easy to and to find the question that you may have on your on your mind. So that is part of the. Um, subscription and I do add to that library periodically as people continue to ask more questions so really excited about that enhancement because I just really discovered how it was a lot more yes it's a lot more work for me to do it that way but I found it to be something that I thought would be really valuable for you guys as a way to um, as a way to find the questions you're looking for and to see if you have a question that's already been answered before. So 
really excited about that, but that does expire on the 1st of January. So there's a link down below to go check that out. Um, if you're interested, now would be the time to check it out if you haven't done so, because the price does go back to its regular pricing after that expires. And honestly, the Q and A is, is worth the price of admission alone. Um, that's something that I don't do in my extendeds. I don't do it here on the channel. And um, I've been getting a lot of incredible feedback on those questions specifically as where you really get to ask the things that you've been stuck on. So just wanted to mention that here. So let's enough of that. Let's get going on checking out the themes here for the eclipse on January 10th. Oh my gosh, and we're getting the energy of true love. Wow. Um, and I will say it just because I don't want to repeat a lot of the things I've already said. I have other videos that are specific to 2020 and uh, no surprise that this is coming in. So we have the energy of true love as a theme here, which means that this is this is an area of your life that likely can potentially have either a shakeup or a realignment. And I don't mean shake up like all of a sudden something kind of happens out of the blue necessarily. This is where the universe will, will force the issue that's been lingering for a while when it comes to what this represents in your world. Are you living in this energy? What does this mean to you? Are you aligning with that, um, Again, true love of self, number one. Do you fully accept yourself? Shadows and all. And then when it comes to partnerships, relationships, friendships, family relationships, romantic relationships, whatever it is. So that's jumping in right now as a theme coming in. And we'll get another theme here. And we're getting mirror. Isn't that interesting? Because she's looking in a mirror here too. Who or what is triggering you? This is so clear, you guys. If you are triggered in by a person in a situation, what is that teaching you? What is it about the situation? What is it about it that is getting under your skin? Because we also, with the full moon energy, it's always an amplification. Full moons always amplify emotions, thoughts, instincts. And we're going to actually break these down here um, as I continue this reading. But there's the potential to be very triggered at this eclipse. And um, to be forewarned is to be forearmed. So understanding that this could happen... Um, in your and it's happening in the collective it's not just it's the energy it's the, I always say this it's the cosmic soup we're all swimming in so it's going to be affecting all of us obviously in some different ways depending on your situation but there you go so okay this one oh my god you guys look what just flew out I could barely even shuffle and the love card flew out all right guys you are getting um we as a collective are being told very clearly here through these themes coming in for this eclipse is realigning with the energy of love seeing love in everything understanding that this is the path of like i said self-acceptance love in relationships what does love energy really mean we are ascending into the fifth dimension as a collective which is all the energy of unconditional love. It is the consciousness that we are moving into. And it's almost like we're going to, you know, this eclipse has the potential to just propel us into that fifth dimension in a much bigger way. So let's actually take a look at how this is going to be affecting. Um, let's, let's see how this is going to be affecting the Divine Masculine and the Divine Feminine. So I'm actually going to pull a major arcana for each of them as a start for this eclipse, the theme for this eclipse energy for the Divine Masculine. And we see the Empress. Our, I'm not shocked. I'm just saying that this is his Divine Feminine. 
This is also the energy of birthing um, a new aspect of your world, of your life. This is that the time is very fertile for you to make changes, to go in the direction of what you're meant to do here. And when you are um, aligning with that energy, you know, whatever happens with this eclipse, it's moving you in the right direction. So let's actually get a major arcana for the Divine Feminine. And she's getting the Strength card. Interesting because this is also another theme of the beauty and the beast. You know, it's the strength of the sacred feminine, especially in the recent months where there has been a lot of movement. Certainly the masculine is strong as well, but there's the divine has been calling the divine feminine to be steady and strong and stable right now because as a collective there's a lot of sacred unions that are happening and coming in, and that is where the masculine and feminine energies are aligning and actually coming together, not only within ourselves, but also in the form of usually partnerships that are mission related. They can be romantic, they can be platonic, they can be work related, but this is two strong um, souls coming together to do important work. And the sacred feminine has been the strong, spiritually, it's like she's been holding her ground so that while the masculine has been doing his thing in order to bring this union to come together. And the beauty and the beast is a, is a, an interpretation of the strength card where it is, you know, she loves the beast and can see through you know, the gnarly exterior, the, the aggression, the meanness, and because she can see his heart and she opens his heart. So this is representative of the sacred feminine breaking free into the emotional body of the masculine that has been closed off, ornery, keeping people away because he's been afraid of a broken heart. So this is a big theme in 2020. So really, really powerful that this came in already so let's actually wow this is going to be a long reading i have a feeling because i have a lot coming in here so um let's take a look at what thoughts are being amplified for the divine masculine we have the three of swords the two of swords and one more please and the queen of swords all right This is the masculine making a decision. Um, there's sadness here. This can be the ending of something that's been, it could be a relationship ending. This is grief, sadness, and this is indecision. And finally, here's the decision. This is kind of the flow of energies as I'm reading them. Moving out of sadness into being, making a decision to, be, to getting very clear. So if there's been something that either has ended or has been ending, it could very easily come to a point where it's like, you know, nothing's going to change. It's over. It's done. And now I'm just ready to cut it out of my life. I'm ready to make the decisions, cut it out of my experience and, um, do what I have to do. Uh, because this is like someone who's worn out being undecided and they're just done. They're done. And interesting that we're seeing that look at this full moon right above this, this two of swords. So it's not an accident that the masculine's thoughts that are being amplified are just clarity and objectivity. Um, if you haven't seen my video, I feel like I feel like I keep telling you guys to watch other videos because there's so much happening right now that I've done a bunch of videos that will be helping you. But there is Venus is in Aquarius right now. I've done a video about that if you want to check it out. But that is the planet of love. And here it is coming in is there's objectivity around love. And partnership so and I believe I can't remember the date Venus moves into Pisces but it's I feel like it's around the um, the uh, eclipse if not the same day because she's there for about three weeks anyway sorry um, 
but there's just so much happening that I want to support you guys as much as possible and it's stuff that I've already talked about on other videos so rather than make this a three hour video I'm going to point you to other videos as well that will be helpful so we're going to take a look for the divine feminine what thoughts are being amplified for her with this full moon and I will be extending this, guys, where we're going to go a lot more in-depth as to what effects this will have. Also, the shadow aspects, all that, tons more on the extended, but um, we have a lot more to go here. So let's see what thoughts are being amplified for the Divine Feminine. So she's got the Page of Swords, the Five of Swords, and the King of Swords. Well, check that out decisiveness there's a couple here this is a power couple this is a soulmate energy this is balance coming in so for the divine feminine the thoughts that are being amplified for her is victory and decisiveness as well and there could be some i just keep getting drawn I love these decks because to me, they just, they speak so much to me, um, regarding the dynamic between the masculine and the feminine, but the thoughts that are being amplified for the divine feminine also is where it is no longer observing things from the outside, but this is also dropping the conflict here with her divine masculine. Not that there's been conflict, but this is more inner conflict that she knows the masculine has had about this indecision, about this sadness here. In fact, tell me about why the Page of Swords is here. And the Nine of Swords. So here is an interesting thing. Um, this is anxiety. This is stress. This can be self-sabotage. This is sleepless nights. This is nightmares. This is a lot of things. The Nine of Swords. And so what I'm seeing here is there could be some communication that comes in because of you want to relieve the stress or the feminine could communicate something that is um, kind of biting and blunt. So be aware of that where you might say something out of total fear that you don't necessarily mean. And again, her victory is around past heartbreak as well. So it just feels like for the Divine Feminine, there's a lot of clarity for her where there's something changing when it comes to past heartbreak. Okay, and it's going to be different for all of you, given that this is a general reading, of course. But let's actually move on and see what else um, is coming in here. So let's take a look at what emotions are being amplified for them as well. So what emotions are being amplified for the Divine Masculine with this full moon? The Two of Cups. There's that love and partnership and soulmate energy. The Page of Cups. And the Ten of Cups. The masculine is aligning with his love for the divine feminine. He has been for a while. In fact, if you watch the videos I did for the divine masculine and the divine feminine for January, you'll see that this is again, very consistent when the same messages come through again and again and again in multiple videos. And Lord knows I do a lot of videos. So, um, there is the themes and the consistency that if you watch my videos or watch the theme, it's like the fact that it keeps coming in so strongly is significant. So for the masculine, he's, he's got love on his mind and what this means. And this is also communication. This is apologies and 10 of cups is emotional fulfillment. So what he's doing is he, it's like he wants to communicate something to the feminine. That's going to align them for their happiness. And he's aligning to what love really means. And of course, we're getting the energy of love. We're getting the card of love. We're getting the mirror here. And this is absolutely knowing that 
wants to move the relationship to the next level with the divine feminine because that's where his heart is. It's really quite, quite, um, that straightforward. Okay. Let's see what, um, emotions are being amplified for the divine feminine. What emotions are being amplified for the divine feminine with this eclipse? got the knight of cups the page of cups look at that page of cups in the same position here's the masculine coming towards the feminine and the two of cups guys this is like this is um so subtle it's so powerful here's the two of cups that he's ready to make happen here she is knowing that the relation that he's coming with his offer in the middle here is the communication in the middle is the page of cups, the apology, the heartfelt communication, telling somebody how you feel and the 10 of cups here. And suddenly she's getting her two of cups. He's got the two of cups on the mind here. And all of a sudden it comes in because she's also got it in this position. So this is, there's like the flow of energy going through. This is just so clear and precise it I don't even need to say anything else all right so let's actually take a look now at what um, instincts are being amplified for the divine masculine what instincts are being amplified instincts being like passion something at his core of his being so let's see what instincts are being amplified we have the Nine of Wands, the Queen of Wands, and the King of Wands. Wow, see this again. He's getting the, a power couple in his instincts. This is him taking action. This is him being confident, and this is him not wanting to give up. So this is an energy of perseverance, not wanting to give up. I can't give up on this. I've got to um, do something that aligns with me spiritually, that aligns with my true love, that aligns with my purpose, that aligns with my empress. So let's keep going here for the divine feminine. So let's see. Okay, let's see what instincts are being amplified for the divine feminine. And it's interesting because she's the divine feminine right now is not meant to take action. Um, in the true essence of feminine energy. Now that doesn't mean that your inner masculine doesn't have to take action towards something in your life. But if the true sacred feminine at this time is in, is not meant to take action towards the masculine. So let's see what instincts are being amplified for her. And she's getting the king of wands right here next to it. The three of wands. So this is the king of wands is representing her masculine. And this is something that she's been waiting for. She's looking towards the future. And here's the communication. A lot of things happening at once. So what she knows is that when the masculine arrives, things could happen quickly. And I don't mean quickly, like progress necessarily really quickly, but the energies intensify. There's communication here. Um, it's almost like she knows instinctively that the masculine is about to come forward with this communication, with this information, with this um declaration really and him arriving with his cup it's like she knows it she just instinct it's like second nature to her in a lot of ways so let's actually take a look at what um actions could happen here what tangible steps or actions could come in here for each of them before i head over to the extended so what um tangible steps might the masculine take in the physical <laughs> there's the there's the offer slowly and surely bringing the offer to the divine feminine the knight of pentacles the ten of pentacles and the page of pentacles so this is communication this is actually making some step forward bringing in an offer steadily that is tangible he's got the ten of cups here and he's got the ten of pentacles so th these are the two that you want when it comes to where you're going in the future, making something that's emotionally connected and fulfilling 
a reality in the physical. And the Page of Pentacles represents doing things differently. It is also represents communication. Interesting, the Page of Pentacles is at the bottom here. Um, so it does look like there could be some communication coming in, or at least the start of the process of communication and an offer being, being made here. Um, and I will say, uh, just as a quick aside, there are some comments I've been getting of people that are like, that don't understand how these readings really necessarily work. And that's okay. Cause this may be new to you. Um, but I will tell you that a, a lot of people are actually having these things manifest. Um, it is happening. The comment, you can read through many of the comments. i get personal emails from people past clients of mine having things happen. It's really quite beautiful. So if you think that this isn't actually happening for people and it's just something people always say is in the future, you're wrong. It may be in the future for you, but for others, it's actually happening now. So just understand that, that it's never just a, a carrot that keeps getting dangled and never actually comes to fruition. That's a very important point that I want to make sure that I let people know. But let's see for the Divine Feminine. Um, what actions could be manifesting in her world as well. Here's that page of pentacles. Here is the communication. Here's the queen of pentacles. And the knight of pentacles. So here it is. They're both getting the knight of pentacles and the page of pentacles. He now understands where his what he wants to do to make this happen in terms of a partnership, uh, a tangible partnership, and she's ready to accept it. She's got the Queen of Pentacles. She, this is her kindness. This is her understanding as he makes his approach. So there's communication that she's receiving from him that she's going to give and offer the masculine kindness and understanding. And... Um, They're ready to embark on a new journey. The Page of Pentacles also represents a new cycle beginning, a tangible new cycle, something new, like learning new things, doing things in a different way. So, wow, you guys, unbelievable. Um, not unbelievable, but just beautiful. So I'm going to head over and do the extended now, but I'm going to pull a guidance card here. For each of them, for those of you not going on to the extended, all right? But in the extended, we're going to cover a heck of a lot more. The link for that is down below. We're going to look at what things are coming to surface, what truths and that they're seeing objectively about their relationships, what karma is finally finished, what's beginning here, um, what is getting kicked off, all of that. The um, So that's all going to be in the extended. And for now, I'm going to leave a piece of guidance here for the masculine and then for the feminine as we wrap this up. So for the masculine, he's getting nature. Are you this card? This came out twice yesterday in the divine masculine reading for guidance. This is about grounding yourself. This is about making sure that you connect to your true inner nature, divine masculine. But this also is a, definitely a message to get out and about outside. Even if you're living in the Northern Hemisphere where it's winter time and it's cold, it's snowy, it's icy. The masculine energy needs to ground because that's how he earths and gets his power. Because the masculine is being courageous moving things forward in his life. He is standing and he's, he's connecting right now very much to the energy of Gaia and of um, earthing that divine masculine energy. So um, this is also just about finding a sanctuary in nature. So make sure to go out and do that. And for the divine feminine, the guidance for this eclipse is partnership. Look at that. This is about sacred partnership. This is about teamwork, working together, partnering with trustworthy people. This is, I mean, look at these guys. They're so light filled. Look at them. They're both shining their light and they're leaving a trail of sparkles. That's what this whole journey has been about. And so there's a lot coming in. Again, I keep saying 2020, check out the playlist that I've put together. You'll understand a lot more why the consistency of the messages is that much more powerful. 
All right, lovely friends. I hope that was helpful. And um, do go check out my playlists that I've mentioned and the other videos um, if you want some additional support. And until next time, I send you much love. Bye.